my channel, Fatsy Keto. My friends call me Jelly. I've used the ketogenic journey to lose 211 pounds. Yes, I am way up from that number not right now. Well, not way up, but I am up because I've upped my calories. I've gone to net carbs from total carbs and working out a lot, not getting sleep and eating foods that my body just doesn't like and all that good jazz. I have no macros or anything to show you today because I didn't track it, but I do have a weigh-in. If you watched yesterday's video to the end, you would have heard me tell you I was up to like 184, 186. Like seriously, I was so upset yesterday from that scale. So pissy offy. Um, ended up with really horrible heartburn. I am no longer going to make myself eat net carbs. I am no longer going to make myself eat 19 plus 100 calories a day. I'm going to listen to my body. What my body wants is what I'm going to do. Stay in keto. If I am total carbs for the day, for the month, for the week, uh, that's how it's going to be. If I'm a net carb girl for the day, the month, the week, that's how it's going to be. However I feel. If I only eat 600 calories, oh well. If I eat 2,000, oh well. I'm going to let my body tell me how much I need. He's cleaning house behind me. Tell me what I need instead of just trying to hit numbers on a macro list and making myself feel sick. Because last night, last night was a rough night of heartburn, rough night of stomach issues, trying to fill those macros. So here we go. Here's today's weigh-in. And no, I didn't throw up last night, but boy, I felt like I needed to for hours. Okay, so yesterday's steps was 12,094. Sleep was 7 hours and 57 minutes. Very all over the place didn't feel good at all and at 178.8 that is the starting weight for july's challenge okay you can see a drastic weight loss from yesterday like almost eight pounds from yesterday this is why i'm telling you it is water weight and it is still water weight up from 174. i also changed beds i've done all kind of crazy stuff and i'm having my first collagen coffee it is 12 o'clock. I'm about to go feed the cats and figure out what time we're going to Lowe's. Got to go to the meat market because I need to start eating my clean meats again because fast food is not cutting it. It is making me... Yes, I have energy, but at the same time, it is making my tummy sick. So, that's what I'm doing today. So, here we go. It's 1.30 and I'm actually starting my collagen coffee now. I put it down, went out to feed the cats and forgot all about it. So, I'm now about to really drink it. I only had one sip before and I'm having three eggs and a slice of cheese cooked with half a tablespoon of butter. Okay, I'm ch trying to eat my eggs but I'm starting to get heartburn already. Um, the next three days I've decided to do eggs, cheese, butter, um, keto chow, chicken breast, stuff like that. I'm going to go to the meat market in a few minutes and buy some stuff. Things light that won't bother my stomach is the goal. And to clear out the net carbs and everything else. And I'm just going to listen to my body. If my body wants the perfect keto cookie, which I never crave, but if it wants that, then I'm going to be having that. When they first, I first started eating them, I craved them for breakfast every morning. <clears throat> and you can hear it in my voice of my, the heartburn I've been having. It sucks. So, yeah, I'm just cleaning my system out, cleaning my system out, realizing I'm never going to be a normal person. I'm never going to be able to eat carbs, never going to be able to maybe not even do net carbs because of stomach issues. I'm not going to be able to eat cabbage, even if it doesn't bother me. That day I've noticed it bothers me the next day. The same with onions. Um, I just got to face fat no matter how much I try or want or think I've healed myself there are certain foods that I'm too sensitive to because of my stomach <sighs> sometimes it sucks to be me on those categories I want to be normal I want to be able to go out to eat with normal like everyone else and just eat normal not overeat not even necessarily eat carbs but most places the food tastes like crap unless you have onions and bell peppers in it. And it causes heartburn when I've had it too much. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm a whiny baby. Yep. 
because I'm never going to be able to be normal no matter how much I try. It just ain't happening. So I'm going to eat these very boring, yucky eggs. I don't like eggs. I eat them with my bacon every morning, but I don't have bacon. So breakfast, that's why it's almost 2 o'clock. And I still haven't eaten it because it's really hard for me to force myself to eat breakfast now without my bacon. I miss my bacon. Mm -hmm. All right, so I know all this stuff I've been saying, right? So I've decided, forget what I said I was going to eat. Forget everything you just heard in this video. I could just erase it and not show you how my mind is flipping back and forth. I just watched Love It On Keto's July Challenge. I've never followed a challenge completely of theirs before 100%, but I'm going to. You want to know my challenge I'm doing? You want to go see the actual um, thing because they have a calendar for you? Go watch Love It On Keto. They have a little link. It'll take you to the calendar. It'll take you to the macro calendar, macro calculator because it's totally different. Because they are doing, like today, 18 hour fast, 6 hour eating window. I'm going to get that covered with no problem and move your body. Tomorrow is called Protein Sparing Modified Fast Day and Take a Walk. Use a different macros. So let me tell you my macros on that day. And that day will be happening, um, so it looks like it is every Monday, Wednesdays, and Friday is this day. Um, cause each day has something different. Oh wait, it is, it's just all over the place. It isn't just that way. That would have been, that would have been easier for my brain. But okay, it's going to happen a lot. So on those days, this is going to be my macros. Don't yell. I know I was trying to do high calorie, but we are going with this. 124 protein that day, 30 fat total, okay? That means I'm going to have to change my coffees up and everything on those days. 806 calories max and 10 total carbs max. So there's quite a few days this month that I'm going to be rocking that very hard protein sparing modified fast days. Okay, the, and then the other days are fasting days and then there's some regular eating and it says 4th of July, it's carnivore day, so go check it out because that's what I'm going to be doing. That's what I've decided. I'm going to tag myself along on their challenge because it sounds very interesting and I'm tired of being nauseous. So I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I know everything I said yesterday and earlier in this video because after watching that and hearing the explanations, I, I'm going for it. Yep, that's what I'm doing. We're doing that one. So check it out if you want to join along. It's going to be interesting. And I will be having keto chow on the other days, just not that day because <laughs> there's not enough carbs. And so I can't do it. Hey, it is five. I have not eaten anything. Just some crushed ice, literally, from Sonics. And um, I think I'm going to go take a nap. I just do not feel good. I feel wore down really badly. I didn't sleep well last night. The heartburn is still going on. Um, I'm really hoping the July challenge will really help me because when I do challenges with other channels, like, um, like follow their channel or do collabs with people, I, um, I stick to everything better. So I'm going to follow along with their protocol and stick to it. Okay, so my little nap, I guess, turned into a big sleep. It is 8 o'clock or after 8. Still haven't eaten other than those eggs today, so I'm going to go make some food. I totally forgot to record that, the sal, um, savory chicken keto chow soup that um, Love It On Keto sent me. So I had that for dinner. Um, I have more of their packs in the b back room. I have, this was the old one. But, um... And I'm about to make some chicken with it. Okay, so he's trying to make something semi-keto, low-carb. Of course, most of us only do six olives, but there is some of us who does way more. But this is what he's got. He's got chicken breast. He's got some carrots, which he has way more olives than carrots. And yummy, delicious olives with some carry gold butter. Okay, the light behind me glary. I can't get this stop. It is thundering and lightning like crazy outside. I didn't do much today. I did the errands, went to Harbor Freight, went to Lowe's, went to Aldi's, went to the meat market. We got some chicken at, at the meat market. We're supposed to go back tomorrow. They were low on meat. Um, I got me some baby carrots at Aldi's. 
about to show y'all what I'm going to be eating for dinner in this next clip. It's cooking in the oven. So, wow, the rain is really coming down. So far today's video is crazy short and I'm trying to figure out how to make it longer because I went to sleep and I had such a horrible night that I feel absolutely miserable today. Also going from high car higher low carb diet to total carbs today um, has been really rough, really rough. But this protocol of 11 nano and keto, I really want to try it because I really think it's something I can do. I need to print it off and put it on my fridge um, so I know what my macros are on the special protein, modified protein fast. So when you sit there and go, are you crazy only eating 800 calories today? Remember, when y'all do fast, you eat zero calories. So this is me doing a protein fast with 800 calories instead of zero calories. I know some of y'all that's done like a, a friggin' 30 day fast. So no yelling at me, none. Cause I'm tired of everyone yelling. You're eating too little car calories. You're eating too much calories. You're eating too little carb. You're eating too much carb. Like really, it can get exhausting. Like it's one of those kind of days. Like, like I believe you can eat all your milk at once. Dino believes you need to keep your tummy filled and eat multiple times a day. So, and tons of people's like that. I've met so many people like that. That's kind of what y'all all been taught originally, right? Breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner, snack, and maybe a late snack. It's what we were, a lot of us was raised on. And we learned that doesn't work for everyone, especially with someone like me. So, I am giving this a try because I do so much better clapping. This isn't really a collaboration. This is me jumping on their boat and doing it with them. <laughs> so when you're watching, hi, Wendy. Hi, Harry. I'm jumping on your boat and I'm doing your little challenge for the month of July so that um, I think it will help me stay focused. And I love that you did Carnivore Day for 4th of July because, you know, I can chow down on some meat and stay perfectly keto and that will keep me away from all any keto type desserts on that day um because i don't like to let people down so i think i showed my way in today either way you will see it in this video if it wasn't yet it will be before my dinner i will stick it in there somewhere because that will be our starting weight um wow let's let's go check out the storm i know it's lightning we're checking the storm out Whoa, I got stuff falling everywhere. He's yelling at me. He didn't get hit by lightning, which, you know, my luck. Whoa, my porch is getting so good wet, and I made it so pretty. I was going to show y'all. Okay, just air frying some pieces of chicken that looking yummy. It has turmeric on it and Himalayan salt. Okay, still waiting for the food to be done. I'm actually getting hungry. It'll be in the eating window because I ate lunch so late. And then I can't eat anything else. Got me my water. Had one coffee this morning. No pool time. I was trying to get Dino to play a game with me. I don't know if he's going to. We'll see. We will see. So if I come back with more to say, I'll be back. Because right now, right now this looks like it's going to be a two-day video. Because I really scatterbrain. Like I get brain fog after eating carbs. So I'm trying to pull the brain back together, right? It's just taking a while. Okay, here's my dinner. I'm about to weigh it because I forgot, but it's just chicken breast with turmeric and Himalayan salt. Okay, so it ended up being five ounces because it was going to be nine, but I just can't eat anymore. Once again, I've read everyone's comments about when to weigh in. I've read everyone's comments 
about sticking to the path and I am very grateful for all of them. That's just after last night, the heartburn, the way I felt, the way I feel today, like complete, utter trash. The way I'm feeling about my gut every night almost forcing myself to eat the calories, forcing myself to eat the food. It is just not healthy for me. It is, I get that my body might get stuck in the 160s because I move more than I eat. But I'm actually extremely healthy according to all my tests, even though that's how I'm living. And I don't feel like this. I can't even describe how I feel. Like last night, my blood pressure was sky high. Everyone was scared. My blood sugar, high. Everyone was worried. Um, and I was sick as a dog. The heartburn was like, I have GER, so it's even worse than normal heartburn. It was so bad, I couldn't even talk. I was freaking miserable. The blood sugar, blood pressure is going to raise when someone is that sick, period. No matter what you eat or do, it usually does elevate. And I was in so much pain. My vocal cords were burning. I literally couldn't get words out. Um, it, if you don't know what basically GER is, think of all your stomach acid coming out even through your nose, like trying to escape your body, and you're drowning and you're completely sick and feel like you're dying, and pain, that serious pain comes with it. That was me yesterday, last night. Um, I don't want to keep going through that just to do net carbs, just to um, eat food that my stomach might not agree with, like with the bacon, 1900 calories, no problem, no issues, felt great, no swelling, could get it all day long. Yes, I bought a bacon to try tomorrow, but I'm not sure if it's going to work. Um, without it, I am stuffing a lot of food in my body to equal those calories because it's the only high calorie item that I like that I eat. Everything else is low calorie. And it makes it really hard, really hard. Because I can't have steak every night. One, it'll upset my stomach. Two, it costs a lot, okay? It's a lot of money there. And I can't do too many eggs because I'm sensitive to eggs. Three, four eggs max, I'm fine. Anything more than that during the day, I'm not. I can't do more than two or four ounces of cheese or I'm not fine. So all the, same with nuts, I can't have a lot of nuts. All the items that would give me my high calories and net carbs that would be good for me, um, doesn't work out so well. Cause I'm not gonna sit here and eat a stick of butter just to get my calories. That's just not happening. So I'm doing, like I said, their protocol. And on the days that I can eat two meals, on the days I can um, eat carnivore, whatever the calories fall, that's where they fall. Whatever the carbs, total or net during that period, that's where it falls. Um, I'm planning on total though, because I feel better. Like 25 total carbs or less. Um, I'm not going to concentrate on reaching those numbers anymore. Just not. Maybe when I get to my goal weight, we can relook at this, but I have no desire feeling sick all summer, trying to up all that. Mm -mm, not happening. Not happening. And yes, yes, it seems a little, I'm all over the place. I can tell you what works. I can tell you what worked for me in the past, but the last 20 pounds is the hardest. And I am trying to figure out what will work for me with my stomach issues and everything and my new living situation, I am trying to find out what will work for me to get those 20 pounds off because this is like virtually impossible. And they were talking about the last 20 too. It's really hard. That's what this protocol is supposed to be to push us closer to that last 20. So. I'm gonna give it my all. Stick to this protocol for the month of July. And then it will help focus my brain. I'll be able to focus more.
been really hard. He just moved here on the 6th, so he's been here almost a month, but so much to do. I had no clue how much stuff would have to be done, and we are still got a house ripped apart, still trying to find where to put everything um, to organize better, still trying to do here or there things, haven't got any routines down. Um, we eat separately, so it's kind of weird, but he doesn't do keto, I do. Um, I want to be able to get everything done and get in a routine so we could go to the gym every single day at the same time, at least five days a week. Um, I could get my videos done at the same time instead of rushing here or there trying to sham in some minutes to make it long enough. Um, my chicken's still in there cooking. It's taking forever than night. It should be done right now, so I'm about to go check it. But I'm ready to start settling down into a routine. Or something. Something, right? Like, when we go to bed, wake up, go to the gym, then do the rest of the stuff. I want to spend more time in the pool. I want to do more fun stuff. It's been really hectic. Not really fun things going on. I think we're going to play a board game if he still wants to. Um... But let me go get my chicken and I'll show y'all.